Hey everyone, Three Mustard Monkeys here. Uh, this time, um, for my next digital circuit here, I'm actually going to be, this is going to be part of a digital circuit project that I'm attempting to uh, build over the course of this summer and hopefully uh, finish it before school starts up. Um, but it basically consists of, I mean, it basically entails a 4-bit computer uh, that's and it's going to be called Alpha 4017, and the uh, 4017 comes from the actual chip I'm going to be using to uh, sequence the uh, memory addresses, which is a 4017 chip, which is a decade counter. And it's going to have a 4-bit four, four uh, 10 address memory, so it's about, ooh, about... Uh, five bytes I believe yeah five bytes of program memory and then it's going to have a have four bits of memory of RAM and uh, what I built here today is the RAM module as well as the accumulator module um, and this is just for storing the uh, numbers uh, in the four-bit computer and my full project, once I have it set up, is going to be using dip switches to program it. Um, but right now, I just have it uh, hardwired together. So let me go ahead and uh, point out the different components here. Um, right here, I have two 74 AC74 dual D-type flip-flops, and they're just each flip-flop is a single bit of memory. So I just wired them up so I have a full 4-bit uh, set of RAM. And this push button here is just going to be the enable button. And uh, when I have this fully wired up with the rest of the uh, uh, computer, this will actually be switched out with the uh, clock signal input. So whenever this instruction is called, um, called up from memory, it will be enabled by the uh, sequ the sequence from the memory, it will be enabled by that, and it will allow the numbers from the memory, the uh, program memory, to be stored into these uh, flip flops. And these four LEDs right here just indicate the values, and this is the least significant bit, and this is the most significant bit. And so um, let me go ahead and just pull it in and show it for you. There we go. All right, so as you can see, well, just ignore some of it. Just ignore that LED lighting up. That's just a uh, uh, just a bug, a little charge that just managed to find its way into the uh, into the chip right now. But when I press the enable button, you can see that all four LEDs are lit up, and I have them all actually hardwired to through a resistor to. Uh, um, f the 5 volts from the rest of the circuit and then if I just take one of these wires and just take it over to ground and that is should be this LED right here should go off actually no sorry this one goes off because it is hardwired to ground but um, that's basically how it works for now um, I'm going to try to get the uh, other circuits built up later, and I thank you for watching, and please subscribe to my videos if you would like to keep up with this project, and if you have any ideas or suggestions, comment and post them, and I uh, thank you for watching.